This is the look I would typically wear when confronting a villain. Or wait, am I the villain? Hey guys, it's Christine Quinn. I've got a new audio book called How to Be a Boss and it's a guide to unleashing the most bold and confident you. Today, I'm gonna be giving life and fashion advice to three young ladies. I'll be styling out three looks and dishing out some life advice. Confidence is something that was not, uh, I wasn't born with. It was acquired over the years. It's something that you can definitely learn. All right, let's bring on the first fan. iPad, please. Hey, I'm in a long distance relationship with my boyfriend and um, I've heard from a few people that he's getting flirty and so I think I'm going to see him in a few weeks to end it. My question is what should I wear and how should I go about ending it? First of all, I want to applaud you for having the courage to recognize and realize your intuition. All right, Onyx, I got you. I'm gonna help you out. All right, Onyx, this is for you. So starting off with the gloves, which I absolutely love. They're super affordable and I actually got these on Amazon. Next up is my pleather dress. It doesn't have to be expensive at all. It's just all about how you pair it. These boots are very inexpensive as well. So believe it or not, this look is actually affordable. I wanna feel confident. I wanna feel bold. I wanna feel energetic. And for me, black is that color. Something about black just says boss so my three rules when dealing with people who might be untrustworthy are the following. First of all, never lay all your cards on the table. Silence is a virtue. Let them talk, then process the information. Don't ever, ever trust anything that anyone says. Do your research. I am like the FBI agent, and I want to make sure that who I'm dealing with is the person that they say they are. Try to avoid confrontation at all costs unless necessary. As we say in the South, kill them with kindness. That's the number one thing that'll get them most agitated and they won't know what to do with you. Okay, let's move on to our next lady. iPad, please. Christine, I haven't been on a date in a very long time, like well before the pandemic. I don't know how to dress. I don't know how to put on makeup. I never have, but I really struggle now because I feel like because of the pandemic, I really gotta like up my game and any and all advice would be much appreciated. Thank you. Alyssa, great question. We got this. All right, Alyssa, this is my date night recommendation to get the man that you want. I think it's all about a bold, bright color that really exudes confidence. And I think with your skin tone, you would look beautiful in red. I love a dress that's fitted at the waist, yet shows what my mama gave me and my mama didn't give me. But I think that's the fun part about this dress is you can play, Fun, and it just shows your body off. The shoes I think are absolutely gorgeous. Anytime that you can show your beautiful feet and your amazing pedicure, it drives men and women crazy. And I also love that the heels wrap up. I just think it adds that extra je ne sais quoi, how you say. Um, for the earrings I selected for you, I love these drop diamond earrings. And I just think it's simple, it's a statement. You don't need a lot of jewelry to overdo it. I remember exactly what I wore on my first date with my husband. It was a dress actually very similar to this, a red cocktail dress with red pumps and I did a red lip and it drove him crazy. I don't know, something about red on a first date just feels so sexy and confident and bold and I really stepped into my power and was able to feel confident that night. The best advice I can give to anyone is don't try to be someone you're not. They'll love you for who you are. And if not, then they weren't the right person for you. My red flag on a first date is eye contact. I have been on dates with the most incredibly handsome men, but I noticed that they were somewhere else in their head. The eye contact wasn't quite there. And I like to feel like I'm engaging with a person. And that's my number one red flag if they don't give you their full attention because you deserve it all. Hi, my name is Thryn Saxon and I'm from Queens, New York. 
I'm an entrepreneur and building my own brand. I have a major meeting coming up where I'm going to be pitching creative concepts for content creation. And as soon as I start to talk about numbers, I get really nervous. I want to look like a boss, feel confident, and know that what I'm asking for is what I deserve. Thanks so much, Christine. Okay, Thryn, I'm going to help you out. All right, Thryn, here is the outfit that I have picked out just for you. I absolutely love this boss power suit. And just like me, you are also a creative. So why not give them a little pop of color and something to really stand out and let them remember you. I love this gorgeous silk suit because it's fitted, it's gorgeous, and just simple accessories, you know, such as a ring and a necklace. Also, if you are feeling a little more conservative, feel free to button it up. So I chose these shoes for you with the bows, the diamonds. I think this is the perfect look for you to get the job that you deserve. I learned how to become a confident boss in the workplace after I stopped dressing the way that I thought other people wanted me to dress. I noticed once I started wearing what I genuinely wanted to wear that made me feel good, that made me feel confident. That's when my transactions really started flowing and I recommend the same tips for you and I promise you will do great in business. Here are my tips for negotiating like a boss. First of all, never, ever, ever take no as an answer. If someone has told you no, you've asked the wrong person. Do research in the industry. Find out rates, what other people are getting paid, and then also what you have to offer. What makes you different? What makes you special? Never, never, never underestimate yourself. If someone gives you a number that you're not comfortable with, it's okay to say, no. A negotiation is a very, very difficult process, but I promise you are worth it and they won't say no to you. All right, that's it. I hope this was helpful to the three gorgeous ladies and all of you at home. For more life rules and advice from me, check out How to Be a Boss only for Audible. Thanks for watching and subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos. See you around.